What's going on, guys? Welcome to this week's episode of the J Spot. I'm James. And I'm James, and we're here at GP Auto Electrics and NI Engineering. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, we're going to take you a walk around today. Basically, we're at GP Electrics and NI Auto Engineering. George GP, the famous wiring wizard specialist, and his cousin Nigo, they share their space together. Nigo does engines, industrial um, cars, of all manners. George is more of a wiring specialist when it comes to cars, motorsport spec harnesses. He's very well known in Cyprus and around Europe, delivering some top notch work that is many levels above what a lot of people expect from Cyprus, and for that, he's got quite a bit of renown. Here we have Easy Sounds S2000. Rocking a huge turbo. So yeah, basically we've got a Time Attack S2000 here. Just a brief rundown on it. It's S2000. Got a big wing on the back too. Catch that. Whoa. F20 Honda engine. Don't know if it's stroke or what's going on in the engine. Don't know that much about this car or the engine apart from what I can see. F20 turbocharged, big front mounted turbo right there. Time Attack car. Obviously, it's here for some wiring upgrades. Catch it at the track quite soon. Let's take it away and walk through there and see what else we've got going on here. We have a, I might be mistaken, George told me what this was before. It's an EK Honda. I think it's for Time Attack. It might be for Hill Climb, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's for Time Attack. Um, yeah, it's in for a complete motorsport wiring harness and look, keep your eyes peeled for it soon. Look how clean it is. Though. Yeah, look at that engine bay. It's so clean. Whenever GP does his wiring, he tucks away everything and looks proper pro. Tucks away everything and George is very much of the mentality of decluttering everything. Anything that's going to draw excess voltage, amps, anything that isn't necessary and he likes to keep it clean and simple as far as the connectors are concerned as well. If it, if it doesn't have a reason to be there or it's just one more failure point, he will eliminate it. Those of you that have been into the scene in Cyprus for a while know that this car has quite a reputation. It goes back very far. Um, George has had this car, I, I want to say close to 20 years. I mean, I, I remember seeing him at the drag races in Lagalambia 2004 with this car. It's changed iteration very much over the years. Um, always top level work. I actually moved it before and I'm like, just you turn the, the ignition switch and there's just so many dials, so many lights, so many different numbers. But one of the coolest parts of this car that George has actually had on this car for quite a while, I think at least 10 years, he has a Subaru STI version 8 gauge cluster, which does the sweeping and all those funky things. And you'd never know that it didn't come in this car because the, the job to just get it in there and the functionality, everything's there. Okay guys, right here we've got Costeo's car coming to a drift track next year. It's an R33 Skyline, a uh, brief rundown of some of the stuff on it. RB26, big turbo, nice uh, intake from Hypertune over here, single throttle, Weiss Fab, anything and everything, kitchen sink, drift car, all of it thrown in it, sequential gearbox. From Samsonas, as James mentioned before, uh, carbon fiber bodywork and yeah, lightweight, plenty of horsepower. Keep your eyes peeled for it, it will be racing next year and ready to tear up the tires quite a bit. Those of you that know Gostea knows that he was involved in the drift scene from very early days in Cyprus and those of you that have been around for a while know that this car competed back then as well. It was Pulled off the road, if I'm not mistaken, off the road for a rebuild. Costa pulled it off the road, I think, back in 2010, if I'm not mistaken, to undertake the rebuild. It got sidelined for a little while, and then he picked up the project again, and this is it in its finished form. How you will be seeing it racing, and yeah, that's about it. Um, definitely, definitely, many of our viewers in Cyprus, if not all of them, and a lot of viewers uh, outside of Cyprus in Europe know this car and its driver with the huge, sometimes colorful beard quite well. This is Bambos Turis' S13 RB30 powered, again, very similar in that manner to Gostea's car. RB engine, single turbo, intake, all of the peripherals, Weiss Fab, uh, XYZ suspension, just, Full top tier, top level drift car, rear mounted radiators, as does that one have, forgot about that. Um, fuel tank, this car at last, 
You know, I never know. I was going to say it last diner, really, but I never know. Bumbo takes every single opportunity he can get to drag Vangelis, his tutor, and his entire team to the dino for God knows what half the time. All I know is that this car spends a lot of time on the dino. It's about 800 horsepower at the wheels. Uh, Fast family Bumbo series right here. <laughs> So yeah, you guys have seen and know this car. Keep your eyes peeled on it for a more detailed episode in future about exactly what it has and um, some more of Bambos and his madness. The characteristic smile, laughter, and the beard. Bambos, we love you, really. <laughs> we do. We do, we do, we do. The beard. The beard is something special, especially when it's painted blue or green or whatever else it may be. Silica! So we have, I'm trying to remember what chassis this is. Um, can't remember what chassis this is. It was the second to last chassis. It's the one with the round headlights that everybody knows and loves quite well. Uh, GT4, just by a quick look at it, uh, 3S GT engine. This is a drag racing car. BC suspension, which I picked up on there. But the thing that really caught my attention when I was looking through the, through the, the front windscreen was the paddle shift on the steering wheel. This car is now being equipped with paddle shift and it's come to George basically for the paddle shift system to be set up, all the wiring done and take it to the next level. So guys, thank you for joining us. Sorry to cut you a bit short there, James, but thanks for joining us at GP Auto Electrics and NI Engineering. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. A lot of you that watch our videos are not subscribed to our channel. Make sure to subscribe to get all the latest content. We've got a lot of cars in Cyprus to show you. 